Troy Davis. Welcome to your Solo Not Solo Festival today. We're looking forward to hearing your play. So please introduce yourself, your accompanist, and tell us what you're playing. Hi, my name is Christina Shelton. Um, I'm from Cova. I've been playing sax for about six months now. I'm going to be playing Menuet by Johann Philip Kernberg. Is she here? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Am I in trouble? Very good. Very good. Dynamics. All of you so far that I've heard, just your teacher is awesome. She's teaching you everything you need to know correctly. And I am a high school band director. And I and I see the opposite happen too often. Where students come to me and they don't have the basics down. So whatever you're doing, keep it up. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, I know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. She deserves that and more. Um, <clears throat> I really appreciate that so far, everyone in these amazing red vests have come up here with poise and confidence. You have had amazing presence. You know, as I, as I mentioned earlier, you're making great eye contact, and that's very important in performing. And you're playing with Gus, you know, not in a bad way. <laughs> you're, you're playing like you mean it. It's passionate. I can hear it, right? And and that's really what it's all about. And it, that makes you have so much more fun. And you had fun, didn't you? And maybe were you a little bit nervous? Yeah. Okay. But you know what? It didn't show because you have the basics down well, and you're very well prepared with your piece. And when we have that happen, and we come in prepared like that. We're less nervous. We get more nervous when we're not really ready. When we're not really as polished as we want to be. When we didn't have as much practice time. But you prepared well. And that's partially to your credit, but it's also because whoever's telling you how to prepare is, is doing that effectively. So keep listening to her. Okay? Even if you get mad at her one day, she's telling you the right stuff. You had amazing shape of your dynamics. Mm -hmm. You know, you were really adding a wide range. And look at this. You even have dynamic exercises right here in your book. <laughs> That's great. Long time. Ah, ah. My favorite exercise. Did you all do this? <laughs> yeah. Good. I made that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. My favorite exercise. How many of you do this every single day? Oh. <laughs> Sort of. Okay. Uh, you know what makes the difference between good and great? Long tones. Seriously. Uh, this is a type of long tone exercise. And there's many, many different types of exercises that we can make. The difference between the average and mediocre performer, the average and mediocre band, and the one that stands out, even if there's a wrong note, even if there's something that didn't go our way, is that you have a good sense of how to develop your tone. And everything else plays into that. Your technique, what you do with your fingers, your uh, vibrato, your intonation, your phrasing, your articulation, what you do with your tongue, uh, all those type of things are better when you have a more solid tone. And so this is fantastic. And the reason that you're playing this that way is because you're doing these type of exercises. You know, and, and I know it, to you, Tim, so yeah, well, 
you know, my teacher told me to do that. That's what I'm supposed to do. Well, <laughs> let, me, let me be honest with you. Most people get to me in high school and they've never even been told that before, let alone practice it every day. Mm -hmm. They don't know. They don't know. And no one's ever told them any, any other way. So you're, <laughs> what does that mean for you guys? You know? Uh, I know I'm talking to everybody right now, right? not just to you. So what does that mean for you guys? That means you're way ahead of the game. You know, you're way ahead of the game, and it's going to only make your musical experiences and your musical careers, whether that just goes through high school or whether it goes into your adulthood, that much better, because it's going to be more meaningful. Um, so I just got all excited, and I forgot anything. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot anything else. I what I'd like to see a little bit, like on these slurs, like say at 29, uh, at the end of the slur, those notes, don't throw those notes away. Try to connect it a little bit more into the one that comes after it. So really, it's not four measures of da, da, da. It's not that. It's all four measures connected. Da, da. Wait a minute. Da, 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 da. So that this last quarter note is really, even though it's not, it's not slurred to the next note, is connected to it. So try, try to incorporate that into what you're doing. Let me just hear you at 29. Let me just hear just the salt rest. Good. And what happens there? We have an echo, right? We have this, and then we have it again the second time. So let's make the second time a little different. Because, you know, we've already heard it once, so why not do it something different so that it's more exciting for the listener? So start a little softer for the first two measures, and then begin your crescendo just a tiny bit earlier, like one measure earlier, and then build through it. Go ahead. Yeah, so we start the crescendo a little earlier. We already hear that the repetition has changed slightly and it gives us more meaning in your performance. The last thing I wanted to talk about is just um, your breathing. Okay, so you, everything that we do relies on our breathing because if we don't have good control of our air, then nothing else is going to happen because if we don't have air, we can't play. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's two parts to your breath. Can everybody breathe for me? Ready? What did you do? You walk. <sighs> <laughs> Let me give you, yeah, that was fine, you breathed in, okay, fine. I saw some of this, so we want to try to keep our shoulders down and stay relaxed, because that keeps it, that makes us more firm and tense. But here's why I want you to add one more thing to it. Before you breathe in, I want you to breathe out. Okay, get rid of that stale air, help your body relax, and then breathe in, ready? Wasn't your breath so much more relaxed, so much more focused? Now, imagine if you breathe that way every single time when you're about to play a phrase. You'd be able to play longer, more in control, more in tune, more focus and flexibility, and your sound is going to be much more open. So let me just hear you one more time at 29. Let's do that breathing. So we're going to do this. You're in 3-4, right? So I'm going to conduct you for right now. I'm going to give you one, nothing. Two, exhale. Three, inhale. And we're going to do that in time. So it'll be like this. Uh, don't play it. So we're going to breathe in time. Try that. Ready? One. Ready? One more time. This time you're going to play. That's the idea. And don't worry about the crescendo. So, yeah, what did that make you do? It made your entrance much more focused. You could play it softer without having to accent it and come in. And it helped your body stay relaxed, right? And when we play for an extended period of time, um, if our body starts to get tense, which it naturally does, we need to find a way to help get it relaxed. Where's Aiden? Okay, Aiden, remember I said Don Giovanni. How long is it? What? How long is Don Giovanni the whole opera? Four hours. Like four hours, right? Now, if I'm playing a show for four hours, I'm going to get kind of tired, right? Mm -hmm. What, what's a lot, like how, how long do you, when you finally start getting tired, what about 10 minutes and your mouth starts to hurt a little bit, if you play 10 minutes straight, you get kind of tired. Well, what do you, professional musicians, we got to play for four hours. We got to find some way to keep, maintain control of that. And it's through our breathing that we can really do that. Okay? And, and the biggest thing that everybody forgets is the exhale. And it makes everything else much better. So just think about that. Splendid.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.